she came home and she said, well, I'm going to the recruiter. I'm going to join the Army. And I went, wow. I kind of knew their reaction would be a little like, are you crazy? You know, what are you thinking? <laughs> Personally, I didn't really want her to go. You know, I was a little, a little nervous about it. I said to her, you know, if you, if you do this, you more than likely will be overseas at one point in time. And she told me, I understand that and I'm ready to do that. And her exact words were, I want to serve my country. He was a very honest recruiter. He said, as an MP, you will be deploying. And to me right there, just, that was just, at that, I just wanted to do it. I wanted to do my part in this world. Uh, I had a knot in my chest. It was, you know, because I, I knew that it, eventually deployment would come about. At first I was real, real nervous because, I mean, I fresh out of basic training, but I think that was the best training I could have possibly had was to be deployed right away. She ain't our little girl no more, but she's, she's my little girl, and she was going off to war simple as that. Every day I, I would go to work, and the very first thing I would do would be to head right for the computer and fire it up and please be there, Shannon, please be there. And I think I must have said it every, you know, every email, every phone call. Just, I was so proud of her. It was hard to get the words out without crying. I feel like my self-confidence just went through the roof. I, if I, I can do whatever they throw at me, you know. I, there may be a little setback here and there, but you overcome that setback and you just drive on. We're amazed. Um, her brother thinks the world of her. She's just his superhero. And uh, I was that way too. I, I think I sent her an email once and said, Superman himself could land next to me and I'd say, excuse me, sir, you're, you're blocking the view of my daughter. <laughs>